Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lauren Coomer. New at 10, West Michigan businesses say more guidance is needed following an aggressive push from President Biden to vaccinate millions of Americans against COVID-19 by requiring private employers with more than 100 workers to mandate the shots or test for the virus weekly. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly is live in the newsroom to explain why this is causing concern among those impacted. Marisa. Yeah, Lauren, this also applies to a large number of health care and federal workers. Local business leaders estimate the rule will affect a few hundred companies, but say it unfairly places the responsibility to implement vaccinations on them. There's this whole host of um, you know, questions that come along with this. Grand Rapids Chamber of Commerce Vice President Andy Johnston says the business community in West Michigan is awaiting answers. After President Joe Biden issued a sweeping mandate this week that proposes companies employing 100 people or more require the COVID-19 vaccine or face weekly testing. Members wondering when it will take place and how it will be enforced, among other things. We're getting different kinds of feedback back um, from members, um, some that strongly disagree uh, with the mandate, some some that support it. Johnston says while the chamber strongly supports vaccination as a way to end the pandemic, they think the rule puts businesses in too difficult of a position. We've been very concerned and not fans of broad stroke employer mandates that again, don't recognize the unique nuance of each workplace and you know, reduce employer uh, uh, flexibility. Um, you know, we prefer to see more voluntary programs um, and because we understand that these government mandates are going to place enormous costs uh, and logistical burdens on employers that are already struggling with talent issues and fragile supply chains. Fox 17 contacted some of the area's largest employers, but only heard from two. In a statement, Amway said it's still in a phase of understanding how the requirements will impact operations. Steelcase shared a similar sentiment, but went on to clearly lay out its intention to comply. The federal government has many regulations regarding private employers. I mean, Rob Howard, who works at a Grand Rapids pay, law uh, firm employees, specializing in uh, employee rights, says this move security. by the Biden administration is nothing new and legal, saying the executive branch can set forth standards for its different agencies. Uh, employees are entitled to a safe workplace, and the federal government requires that of employers to provide employees with a safe workplace. And this is one more step in that measure based on our current Pandemic. Howard expects the mandate to be challenged in court, but says a 1905 U.S. Supreme Court case that upheld a Massachusetts smallpox vaccine requirement sets precedent. He adds, in general, federal law would preempt any state law passed that could contradict the move. Considering the carve out that you can just get tested if you don't want to get the vaccine, I don't see how there it's it's going to pass the the rational basis test that's required of something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I, based on the cases that have come up in the past, you know, eighteen months regarding Florida stay at home order and and New York's limit on gatherings, uh, the courts have generally enforced these rules. Now, OSHA must still write, approve, and implement this COVID-19 vaccine mandate. The White House says religious and medical exemptions will be allowed. For more details, you can visit our website at fox17online.com. But for now, reporting live in the newsroom, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.